Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vittori Vida and you are watching Vittori Vida TV. This is a very special episode of Vittori Vida TV because today I will be sharing with you my top seven, yes, seven favorite purses or seven favorite bags. But before everything else, I would like to thank Roots Kitchen and Bar for being so nice to me and at the ads. So Roots Kitchen and Bar is a restaurant that is at Orange Tree Living. I'll put their address in the description box below so you can check them out. Shout out to Tegan who was extra nice and she was assigned to our table. She was just the sweetest. We also went to Milky Way ice cream because today is National Ice Cream Day. It was just like the best day for ice cream because it was so hot. The ice cream was melting in my hands. My hands were super dirty. Expectations doesn't match reality, okay? If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and also click the notification button so you can get notifications when I post a new video. So the reason why I wanted to share with you my top seven favorite purses or seven bags is because I feel like I have a very good collection of bags and each bag has a story so each bag is special. I would like to share it with you because I know that some people love their shoes so much, some people love their purses or their bags. I think I am the person. I am the latter. I love purses. I love that. First one is this Vivian Westwood body bag. It has actually two compartments and it has a very big logo of well, it is ubiquitous. I mean, you can't you can tell that this is Vivian Westwood because like the quality of the leather is really good. This bag was actually given to me by my friend Jemena. She gave it to me as a gift for emceeing her daughter's birthday party, Serena Isabel. My favorite purse number two. This is by IUA bag. They're pretty big in Mexico City. And it's so beautiful. I love the patterns. I try to go big on my necklaces and all the other accessories. This bag has always gotten compliments. So it's really nice when they see you and you're wearing something that you got from the country where you travel. When I travel, I don't usually shop a lot. I only make sure that I get something from there, especially if it is something that I could actually wear over and over again. When I go to a new place or when I'm visiting a different city, I try to find things that are very unique and something that would speak more about who I am. By the way, I will put everything in the description box below. So you can get this purse at Tawi.com.mx. It's such a statement piece and also a conversation piece when you're going to events. So that's my bag number two. And my favorite bag number three is my Gucci bag. Actually, this isn't Gucci. This is an Aldo bag. I got this before going to New York because I felt like it was such a beautiful purse. I believe that you don't really have to buy expensive stuff to look expensive. You can just buy something that really matches your taste. This shade of pink is just my favorite and I just love the details. This is a swan or an egret. I don't know what it is, but yes, it's just so beautiful, very intricate. The design seems very modern. People would always ask me if it is a Gucci. So I always say no. <laughs> Give credit where credit is due. Or my fourth favorite purse is, ta-da! My long champ in gold. I know a lot of people in the Philippines actually use a lot of long champs. At first, I never saw its beauty. I thought it was so simple. I, I thought these kind of long champs are the kind of bags that you used to go to grocery stores or on a market. Since I had one, and I got this from my friend Rose. She was selling purses. I think it looks cute. Can I get it? And so she gave it to me at a very reasonable price. On your lazy days, when you don't feel like glamming up, you just want to little bit of shine then you can wear something like this and I like big purses because I like putting everything in there this is a very simple purse when I just want to be subtle I don't know how subtle is subtle for you guys but for me subtle is just a shiny bag and shiny shoes especially when you're just going in a grocery store or when you're going to the supermarket you can just use something shiny and something gold and you're good to go my fifth favorite purse is this one, I think I used this yesterday. That's why it has some stuff in here. You have to make a guess where I got this purse. 
I'll give you three seconds to actually guess where I got that purse. Time's up. Okay, I got this purse in New York City during my first trip there. This is just a Forever 21 purse. When we were actually walking around the city, I needed a purse that actually matches with my shoes. I don't want to buy something expensive. I want to be practical. I like that I could tell that it's from New York when they say, oh, which store? And I say, girl, I got it at Forever 21. That's just my favorite purse because I can match it with anything. This collar is just a go-to collar. So if I want to attract focus on my shirt, I won't wear loud accessories because I want my shirt to pop. If I'm wearing a very simple shirt, I always just wear a lot of accessories just to add some extra personality to the outfit. I go big on accessories when I need to and I tame it down when I want to. Uh, my super duper favorite purse is my Louis Vuitton. I got this in Vegas two years ago and it's still my favorite because I get to use it when I travel. This is my carry-on purse. Aside from my carry-on luggage, I actually bring this one. I like seeing myself in pictures wearing this because it just looks really expensive. But I know it's so vain to actually say that. This is one of my most expensive purses and I'm not going to tell the price because you can actually just Google this. This is my favorite purse because this is my first luxury purse that I bought for myself. I work hard for the money that I have, right? I want to make sure that I also get the value for it. For me, buying an expensive purse is not about showing off. Buying an expensive purse is more of rewarding yourself. Honestly, I don't have a lot of expensive purses. Everybody just tells me, Vic, oh my gosh, your purses are so expensive. And I'm like, no, they're not expensive. It's either they're from Aldo, they're from H&M. Just some statement pieces that I really like. I know I still want to have a Chanel boy and I'm saving up for it. I have a bonus favorite bag, by the way, and this this is a backpack. Okay, wait a minute, I'm gonna get it. My Vittori Vita backpack. This is limited edition. There is no other way we could get something with this color. My supplier cut the production of this kind of color bag. So I think what's left is blue, red, and black. And I've got some orders for blue and black and they really like it. Those are my top seven favorite bags in the universe or in my closet. Let me know what your favorite was. If you have a dream purse that you really want to get, please comment it down in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching Victoria Vita TV and thank you for always supporting me in all my endeavors. I cannot thank you enough. Come to mama. That's creepy. If you're not following me on my social media channels, I am on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook. Just look for Vittori Vita. And also don't forget to click like or subscribe to my channel. See you again next Monday for another episode of Vittori Vita TV. Keep on watching Vittori Vita TV because when it's fun, it's Vittori Vita.